talk and I'm just going to kind of shut up, let him say his piece. Uh, yeah, um, I hope I've answered your questions <laughs> well enough. Um, like I was saying, you know, we've, uh, we write about this as much as we can, try and inform the public as best we can. So, yeah. I'm not entirely sure I uh, understand you. I, still, I suppose you still have time for three or four questions. It doesn't look like I see the governor. Uh, although I'm kind of paying attention to my phone at the same time. So I'm not sure, entirely sure I understand your question, you know. To be honest, I'm getting a little tired here too. I have pulled this thing. I don't look like a crazy person talking to the phone too. You know, I'm getting some walks here. So, so somebody asked me, I've had some questions, so I can look like I know what I'm doing. Here. <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Yeah, the concrete. Well, they do have utility lines um, on the bridge um, below here. They did have to put it in. I'm not entirely sure if it's any different than what's on the current bridge, honestly. Um, I mean, I'm sure to some degree they have to have put something under there. But, yeah, I mean, there are there are utility lines that they had to, to put in here. Um, but I, I don't know if it's if it's any different than what they had on the new bridge, or if it's any more or less, or, or details there really. Uh, maybe that's something I should should look into. Um. on the main span is what's going on right now. Um, because if they're going to finish it by, you know, sometime middle-ish of next year, uh, they got to finish